Here with Caitlin Sandino from DC Trident. You guys, two, match, two races in, how are we looking? You know, we're looking strong. You know, this is a really big turnaround for us because we raced just a few days ago, but this match is really important for the club standings. And just team morale. After this, we finally have a well-deserved bye week. And um, right now, we're just going for improvements, getting our hand on the wall, and seeing if we can come out of this match with our, our best and most amount of points yet. I'm going to say, because from match one to match two, yeah. the whole team stepped up. Absolutely. You could just feel the shift in energy and confidence, which is so big. I mean, in everything we do in life, we need that confidence. And, and the team just really believes in each other. And we're really rallying behind each other. And we have great fans back home, too. You know, I, I'm really grateful for the situation that we're in, being um, very celebrated in the swim community. And, and I think people realize our potential. And we have some great swimmers on this team, veterans and a lot of up-and-comers and rookies as well. So when you get that blend or that marriage of, like, the kind of the, the veterans and the rookies, good things can come together. Well, listen, it's only two races in. Go DC. Thank you. Let's go, Trident. Let's go. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Eric, great win. I needed that. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh, it was tough, but... The body, body felt it. Sorry? Your body felt it. Yeah, yeah. We're coming out of isolation today, so it feels good to be back in the water. Did you know that I needed you to do something? Because you're behind. Yeah, we, we need all the points we can get, so... I just went all out. Good man. And the relay coming up? Yeah. Two hundred IM first, so. Okay, go get your breath back. Thank you. I'm here with Byron McDonald from Toronto Titans. You guys have come out fighting. We certainly did, and then, and I think that's something that we try to do as a team. We know our first day is pretty good. Last year our second day wasn't, but this this year our second day is pretty good too. So it's nice if we can keep that momentum going. So. We just like to keep it close for the fans and everybody else. <laughs> well, listen, you've got three wins so far. We know you've got a lot more, a lot more depth than you did last year. So you must be confident. We are very confident. And I think, we, you know, we had our bye week last week. So we did a lot of hard training to keep us through, not just this meet, but the next couple after this. So I was a little worried maybe we weren't going to be that sharp today. Louise Hansen started out brilliantly in the 100 fly. Best time by eight tenths. She's been on the international scene for like 10 years. To so do a best time like that, that really got the team going. And also, well, we talked about you in L.A., but no one's out of this yet. Oh, no, this is going to be a battle right to the end. L.A.'s got a very, very good team, and watch out for D.C. They're pretty good, too. Iron looks like they're struggling a bit right now, but it's certainly a three-team battle for sure. And also, Iron have mentioned day two's their day. Iron have said to me, the first day's not their day, day two's their day. Yeah, yeah Iron will come storming back on the second day for sure, but we hope to have enough of a lead that it won't matter. <laughs> that was a great win. That relay was solid. Very solid. And we, and we planned on that. And I mean, the reason what I say is that we could have rested girls for the next 53, which is only in like a couple of minutes. But we thought, you know what? Winning the relay is important. So, you know, the women were agreeable that it might hurt them a bit in the 53, but they're going to go for the relay. And they did and they won. It was brilliant. So that's where the strategy comes into it. Yes, it You're going to use some of your swimmers, but you're going to lose some points. But it paid off. That's right. Well it done, paid off Handsomely. All right. That's what we wanted. Good job. Back to you guys. All right, thanks, Mark. I am indeed Ryan Hoffer. Welcome to the ISL. What a great win. Thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. <laughs> so first match, not so sharp, but you're starting to get quick. Yeah, you know, hey, this is a learning experience, and uh, I'm just happy to be part of it. That first match was definitely, uh, you know, dipping my toes in, trying to see what's going on. But now that uh, I've kind of got the rhythm of this meet, I can kind of figure out where I can, uh, you know, be my best. The yards is different to meters, but you seem to be finding your arms. Yeah, yeah, I guess you could say that. I'm, I'm getting in the rhythm of it. Good job. Listen, a few more races. Yeah, hey, go try this. Cassia, that was a fast swim. That was good, especially after that 100 in the relay. I knew I have to step it up and uh, win the points for my team. And you went well. You definitely stepped up. Toronto. I'm doing well. Yeah, it's a great team. We have a, a lot of good energy and we're going to keep it going. Listen, well done. Get ready for your next race. Yeah, that's right. Go to Toronto. Andreas, great win. DC four wins. Absolutely. Oh, we're doing a great job. We had a rough start in the first match, but our motor is to get improved, get better get more points and get the team to the semifinals. Yeah, the team are really working together now. No, yeah, absolutely. We work as a team and I think the last three weeks that we've been together has been amazing and we cheer each other and 
I think that everyone can see that with the loudest team. <laughs> Go try it and good job. Thank you very much. Go try it. Bailey, DC, what have you been eating this week? <laughs> a lot of pizza. <laughs> You've got amazing. Five wins, great win. Thank you so much. Yeah, we knew this meet was going to be a lot tighter than our last one, so every point counts. I just wanted to get my hand on the wall. If this was poker, you guys have gone all in. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, we still have our best day to come, so I'm just excited to watch my teammates now and cheer a little bit and get ready for tomorrow. You've done your bit. Well done, Bailey. Thank you very much. David Marsh, head coach, LA Current. How are we feeling about the team's performance so far? Well, it's been interesting, you know, with the three day in between the two races. Um, didn't we, we, what we did was we did it, treated it like a World Cup where we went uh, one day light, one day a little bit of work, and then one day light again. And uh, we're getting nice responses by about a third of the team. About a third of the team seems a little tired. And uh, the middle is fighting well. They're going to they're gonna come around. So uh, this isn't surprising. We, Toronto, for the, for the teams that haven't had a second meet, the, generally people have gotten a lot better in a second meet. So we knew Toronto had, with their, with their roster, they were going to be strong. They've done really well. Uh, DC Tritons come out. They're, they're not given to give it an inch. Uh, probably the place where, as you can see, we're struggling a little bit is, is to get those seconds versus first. With, with the bonus points, with the jackpot points, you know, if you don't get those points uh, and you don't jackpot your own person, our women's relay, we, re we were taking a risk there. We were taking a risk to put a, a relay because we, we didn't think we were going to be able to make the cut anyway, so we were hoping to jackpot our own relay. But uh, hats off to Toronto. They, they beat us in that relay fair and square. And, and uh, uh, so we've got we've to keep getting better and keep fighting. It's going to be... This meet could come down. This is one of the ones that might come down to skins, like in a real way. It might come down to the last race in skins. But for right now, we got to get in position for that, and, uh, and then hopefully we can make the best of it. But you're showing how important it is to strengthen depth. It's not just about winning the races. Yeah. You've only won two, but you guys are still there. Yeah, we're not winning races, and that's uh, you know it's a shame because we're right there to win races. But you know, hopefully that that fortune will shift. I mean, Imogen's 50 breaststroke win was big for her because she's. You know, she's come over here and uh, swam for energy last year, but didn't get to race very much. So Zoe's really been working on her a lot and, and really helping her along. And, and I think tonight's, uh, I think it'd be a confident switch for her. Uh, and that's just so fun to watch in these, these, these meets, Mark, is that people, are, the confidence are gaining. Tomo's like growing. I mean, he grew a lot last year, and now he's just growing more as the man right here. Tom Shields doing a great job of leading this team, doing a great job of that. Uh, Beryl's getting better and better every day. The, the relay wasn't what she wanted, but uh, I think she comes into this meet, and, and especially tomorrow's events, I think she can be a factor. Uh, so in a lot of ways, we're getting better, and, and uh, we're also getting to know our team a little bit. I mean, Javier Acevedo, submitting a couple of 50s today to figure out what he has, and he's got some potential too. So we've, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a learning process. Well, keep learning. Get the resources ready. More swimming to come. Well done. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. 358, you're swimming really good. Thank you. I knew that I had to attack this race more than last time, and I learned a lot from my first race, and I'm really happy with that. Only 15, and you're taking it to these women. Yeah, it's, I love ISL. It's so much fun, uh, especially with Toronto Titans. They're the best team, and it's just been a lot of fun cheering on and also racing for the best team. Thanks for joining the ISL. You're doing a great job. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Caitlin, your team. Oh, awesome. <laughs> They're on fire tonight, hands down, our best performance, our best showing. You can feel the energy in the box right now. They're thriving off each other. This is the team we drafted. We knew it was in there. We might have got a little bit of a slow start, but we're here and we're throwing it down and we're rocking the red. So seven victories for Toronto and seven for DC. Well, that's data. I didn't know it. I can't keep up with all the firsts that we're getting today, Mark. It is unbelievable. I'm so proud of our team. And again, like just the support that we have right now, we haven't given up. Like We got off to a rough start. You know, that second match was awesome. The third one, we are on fire. And I, I can feel the vibes. We're, we're stoked. You lot are looking pumped for these, for these relays and the skin <laughs> choice. The relays, like, they get you every time, and we're so close with LA Current right now. It's, like, it's insane that we're ahead of them right now. I think this is just, like I said, it's all about confidence, which we showed up with tonight. And um, it's showing in the pool, and, and the relays, ha, I can't even talk. I'm so excited. Go get some breath. Thank you, Mark. DC. Thanks.